If you're here, you're probably already a fan of the fragrance community. Uh, short terms are FragCom. I'm going to treat this video in a way as if you had no idea some of the terms I'm using uh, to make sure if you're new to the fragrance community or if you're an already a pro, uh, it'll make sense to you. So the word FragCom is a short term for fragrance community. Uh, it's a group of people that really like fragrances get together, whether it's on uh, YouTube channels, uh, Facebook chat groups, things of that nature, whatever it might be. But we get together to talk about something that we all either have passion for or love. In this case, it's fragrance. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over a bunch of different styles of decant bottles. Those are smaller perfume atomizers that you use to transfer from your main bottle. So you have a on-the-go version, if you want to call it that. Uh, so we'll give you some other cool tips as well. And uh, here we go. Here are a bunch of different styles of decants. Uh, as the word decant is used in this situation, would be taking the fragrance or the juice from the main bottle uh, that you purchased and transferring it into a smaller travel bottle, which makes it easier for transport and use. Um, these range anywhere from, I believe, 5 ml up to 100 ml, the ones you see in front of you. Some are screw on tops, which could have some evaporation or leakage. Um, you know, a lot of times you want to use Teflon tape or plumber's tape to wrap around those before you seal them right around the threads. Uh, then there's some of these are pressed on tops where they're actually sealed decants that you really don't have any leakage from or any evaporation. This one here is popular. It's called a tall boy or referred to as that. It's a heavy, thick glass atom bottle with a uh, spraying atomizer, pretty nice atomizers. They spray enough juice, definitely. Uh, they are screw on. I see through the threads there. If I can put it back together, it will be good. You got this little guy here, which is pretty popular. It has a little nozzle on the bottom that you put on top of the perfume bottle. Pump it, and once it gets pumped, it'll fill up so you have a travel atomizer. You can see it fill up on the side. This guy here, uh, you pull the top off. You pull this out, this glass bottle on the bottom. Uh, this one's frozen in place. I've never used it, so I'm gonna just have to get the tension out of there. It might be moisture or something, I'm really not sure. Uh, there's a reason I don't use those, but they work pretty well. This is the one I already showed you. It's a twist top. People like these. Bottom's glass, unscrews, and you can fill it up from there. These guys, square atomizers, heavy thick glass. Nice, 50 milliliter. These guys are really popular right now on Fragcom. They're five mLs, top comes off. I mean, pretty much the sprayers, all those things, the nozzles or atomizers and the tubes and caps for these guys, tall boys, these 15 mLs are all pretty much the same thing. Um, these two and this guy. You got these guys that are popular, really thick, nice heavy glass, kind of cool looking bottle. They unscrew, really thick threads so they seal pretty well. This thing has like a fire hose attached to it so it sprays a ton of juice every time you use it. I get these which are I guess these are like my staple. These are 17 milliliter atomizers. They have a sealed top uh, or sprayer on them. Actually I got one right here. This is Elise's Woods or Wood. Uh, this is what the sprayer looks like on there. If you can see it. I can't get that in focus, but we're trying. There you go. Should be in focus. Cap goes on nicely. It's a sealed atomizer. It's cool color juice, that one. These are the same type of idea, except they're 30 milliliters. Um, the black plastic cap. Really heavy duty glass. This is 30 milliliters. This is a screw on top. This has another one of those fire hose sprayers. Uh, literally sprays so much juice, it's not even funny. You do want to use uh, Teflon tape on these as well. This is another one like mine uh, with the seal top. You have the crimp on a sprayer or press on. And these 20 milliliter bottles. These are nice, spray on, really heavy glass. Um, twist on, I would use Teflon tape with these as well. We're gonna decant a bottle today. Uh, we're going to actually go into this little guy right here. 
from Boss Bottled, from Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled Descent uh, Private Accord. So you always want to take the cap off. Boop. I already took off the atomizer spray, whatever you want to call it. We're going to use this little guy right here, that opening. We need to get something that is either wide enough to go around it or thin enough that goes inside of it. It's kind of hard to get this in focus, but we'll get that down over time. So as of right now, I'm going to take this syringe, and there's multiple ways to do this. If you see the tip of this, it makes it easier to understand which syringe we're using or I'm using. Other people use different ones. Man, I'm not good at this focus thing. We'll get it down over time. So there you go. It's in focus now. So what you want to do, some people use a torch or a lighter. Um, a really good FragCon member. I'll tag his link below. He's the first guy who did the video, kind of showed me how to do this in a sense. But a torch or a lighter and a Phillips screwdriver head. You heat the head up. Me personally, I rotate it. Don't know if that is or is not what he did when he used to do it. Um, but his video is awesome. Uh, it's Rick or Rich. I'll tag him below in the video. And once this gets hot enough, doesn't have to be crazy hot. Me personally, I gotta show this off because it is a torch. You take the tip of this and you apply pressure right in the opening. Me personally, I like to spin it. And you'll see that tip that was really tight before in a sense is now pretty wide open. Making it so that you can actually put it over the head of this. I'm being kind of sloppy with this because this isn't how I do this anymore. Um, but that does fit on there. If I wanted to push down on this and pull this up, you'll see the juice going into the bottle or into the, uh, the uh, syringe. See a little bit of juice? Me personally, I don't do this anymore. Um, it is definitely a way to do it if that's what you want to do. Um, works well enough. I've decanted a ton of bottles that way. A little bit of juice in there now if I'm squirting it in. <clears throat> Ultimately, what I do instead so I take the same style syringe. Again, I'm gonna get okay at this focus stuff at some point. And I take pointy children's scissors, which is kind of funny. Um, I take the tip of the scissor, put it into the hole, and I spin circular with a little bit of a pressure at an angle. Really isn't anything crazy, kind of like you're peeling a potato. And you'll see the sh shreds or little pieces of the plastic come off on my finger there. Take those, put them in the trash. You always want to look in there to make sure the atomizer is clear after. I also always make sure this is pressed down all the way. When you get it like that and you shaved off just enough of the plastic, which is usually like four or five to ten times around depending on the bottle. Sometimes a little bit more pressure is used as well. This goes around and a little tiny wiggle like a glove. I don't even have to hold it anymore. It might fall if I do this, but who knows? Now this time, I'm gonna push down. It was working really well too. I don't know if I lost video there, so I'm gonna try to call. I'm gonna push this down just like that to fill the bottle, okay? Now this one I didn't measure because I had a little bit of juice in there in the first place. I wasn't really watching because just filling it to send it out to one of you. as a fun little uh, thank you for watching my video. So I did that. I take this little Teflon tape I always have this on a tape roll because personally, that's just how I like it. I like to have things pretty neat, mostly organized, because it drives me nuts to have to go back and attempt to find the items when I want to use them. So I cut off a roll, piece probably about five or six inches long, give or take, maybe less, depending on the size of the bottle. I take the bottle, wrap it around the top, spin. Pretty easy. I'm holding it kind of tight as you see the threads going around there. It's kind of hard to do this and record at the same time, on a, especially on my first video. So then I personally like to run my hand around it. I roll the flaps from the tape over the top. I make sure it looks kind of neat on the sides because it bugs me if not. There's my bottle. Here's this magical guy. Now, you want to make sure the threads are even, just like any type of a screw system. If you don't make their even, make sure they're even, they could uh, leak or something like that. Tighten it as much as I can without going crazy or a tool, and that's done. 
So ultimately, that guy goes on there. And we have a decant to ship out to one of you awesome subscribers. One thing I definitely want to make you aware of is sometimes bottles have different type of openings or different type of um, tubes or atomizers, whatever they might be. So like in this case, you have Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK or Maison French, Frenzy's Kriegsjean or whatever way you say it. Uh, you see the opening on this is definitely different. It's got a wide opening and a lot of this stuff becomes trial and error. Uh, with the same syringes, these ones that we just used, this is an attachment they have pretty cut and dry. This thing here just screws on here. It's actually, this is really good for uh, dispersing if you have a bigger opening or from like a, a flacon. A flacon is a really big bottle. Um, usually it's to disperse into smaller bottles um, or for your own personal uh, collection or share with friends. But um, if you do have a flacon, these things are awesome because it's just a syringe to pull it up with and squirt it back out with. With this, I'm not gonna pull any of this out right now but for these bottles, specifically with this opening, you put this right in the middle, you push down pressure. I'll do a little tiny bit. And you pull just the juice out. See how there's just a little bit of juice in there? This would fill up fine if I pushed down a little bit harder and gave it enough pressure to vacuum it up. Oh, this stuff smells so good. If you haven't smelled this before, it's fire. I'll have to do a review on this, especially where I'm just getting started. Here's another cool tool. Uh, it's called the Label Wizard. I think I got this on eBay for like 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm very picky about labels, bottles, the way everything looks. Um, if I've ever sent you a bottle, you know that. Uh, presentation means a lot to me. Um, so personally, I use this guy to apply the labels. Uh, big thing is, pretty easy. You make sure it's nice and tight in the back. I have it straight across so I know exactly where I want it to be based on where this is laid out, right to the edge. There's a measuring tape tool or a ruler right there so that I can universally put them in the same spot every time. Bump them to the camera. So this bottle right here, I just decanted. One thing that's very, very important uh, in my opinion is making sure no matter what you do, I'm gonna pull this over here, you wipe down the outside of the bottle. Um, whether you use rubbing alcohol, let it dry. Uh, if you use a cloth, microfiber or something like that, just to make sure that it's as clean as you can from oils and contaminants so the adhesion will stick the best as possible. I'm gonna lay this down here. You can see how it fits. And what I did was I pre-made these labels. Um, OnlineLabels.com has a really good site. Again, I'm gonna link uh, in my video down below uh, the link to the original video that taught me how to uh, create these, where to buy these from, how to decant with the syringes, and the, the torch of the lighter. Um, he did a great job. Super uh, influential, influential, and a really uh, good person in the frag con. So these labels right here, you can basically just take a picture of something you like uh, or custom design one. Sometimes I do that, uh, depending on what, what I'm making that day or what I'm uh, decanting. In this case, I took a picture of the actual bottle. And I'm going to just take that and put it onto this little decant. It's a small decant, so it's a little bit different. Whenever I do this, I want to line up to the same spot every time to keep it uniform. On these little bottles, I'm going to go to the two inch mark. And me personally, I'm going to tilt this up almost at a diamond angle so that this will go right down where I want it to be. Apply this. Again, I didn't measure this one out specifically, and I don't really use these bottles. So I was just kind of guessing. Yeah, it's kind of like me. To me, that would drive me crazy. If I was gonna be using this all the time, it's gonna be given out as a freebie. So it's okay, just because it's a training lesson. Uh, again, if you are using these things, um, make sure you set a uniformed area, test run, do one you like. If you don't like it, peel it off, do another one. Um, it really is up to you. On these square bottles, it's just funny because I never use them other than to put some juice in it and run outside for a minute or two. Uh, put it in my car, bring with me somewhere. And, uh, you know, if you're out there making the world smell better, it's just making sense. See ya.